Hey friends. Hey guys. Welcome back. All right. Hello, hello. Welcome back. We're on episode number 86 today. Um, before we dive into the material though, uh, I want to tell you about our next giveaway. Yes, and exciting to our last week's winner who got Karen's Steam Kids Christmas book. Woohoo! So, so fun. I hope you enjoy it. That'll be in the mail to you. Um, but today I'm going to give away a gift card to my shop. Um, a $50 gift card. 50 bucks, you guys. This is amazing. It's huge. So, um, I have a printable, uh, shop that you can buy just tons of educational printables. So if you're struggling with making things more fun in your homeschool, this will definitely help you out and you can just have a little shopping spree there. Yeah. Go wild. Lots go of nuts. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, look at the Call to Homeschool Instagram page for details on how to enter that giveaway. Yes, and you do not want to miss that. 50 bucks, that's awesome. On printables and stuff, you can get a ton of them. Yeah, so fun. So, okay, we're going to dive in today. Yeah. Talking so, about holiday learning. Holiday learning. Um, this is my specialty here. Yeah, making so, it fun. Right. Yeah, how that's to always make, Karen's. <laughs> how to make learning more fun with the holidays. And um, I want to start out with just couple of things that we do um mm -hmm. in our home and you can share some of the things that you yeah. do over the holidays and how you change it up because we like to change it up a little bit during the during December um and some things that we do I have a daily advent that I do through the month of December this year I got this cool little um ornament craft kit I am drawing a blank on the name it's like new tradition crafts I think mm -hmm. is what it is and it has an ornament a day that you get to like paint and build. And then along with it, there's a little like scripture that goes along. Like today we did the first one. Um, we're recording this at the beginning of December, but um, we did the first one and it was, um, we painted a star. And then we had a little scripture that we read in Luke and um, watched a little video about Joseph and Mary. And yeah. super cute and super simple and fun. So we're doing that this year. It's the first time we've tried that one, but I've always done just a daily advent where we read a scripture. Um, sometimes add a little craft and activity in, um, and just, just making it special and, um, trying to do extra service. Like last week's, if you didn't listen to last week's episode about light, your family is an awesome way to just add some service into your home. And also you can spread it out to outside of your home too. Um, yeah, we tried this year. I think our friend Emery did this where they do an advent of books oh, where yeah. they wrap all the books yeah. so I bought like two four new picture books mm -hmm. and I wrapped up some of them and I said for our read aloud this month like you'll unwrap a book and our kids are like hold up did you just wrap like books from our bookcase and I go I will be but <laughs> some of these are also new I've done that too a lot of times actually but I stopped wrapping it I only wrapped them the first year oh, and then okay. I decided I didn't want to wrap them anymore and I had a big like Santa bag kind of thing where I just oh, put okay. them in and they would just pick one from the bag after that. Yeah, so that was we'll a lot see. easier for me because I'm... We also don't do presents, I'm so I'm not wrapping mom. like presents. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I just thought it'd be... It was fun <laughs> while we've been doing it. Like, wait, we know you too well. <laughs> it's just like books we currently own. Another thing we have done, and I have a post on this. It's a very, very old post, but we did a Christmas service tree where I just like drew a cute little Christmas tree on a big piece of paper and put it on the wall. And anytime the kids did a little surface for somebody within our home, they got to add a little sticker ornament to it and, and just decorate the tree throughout the month. And That's it was awesome. so simple and so fun. And my kids loved it. We did that when they were really little and they just loved it. And it just inspired them to just want to do kind things for each other. You know, that's fun. I've done it with like a jar and marbles mm -hmm. and we've changed what you get them for, like taking initiative or doing different things like that, right? Like if nobody does any of these crazy things, then you can put a pebble in. Mm -hmm. So I love the making, giving it a Christmas theme. Yeah, it was really fun and they, they loved that one. So I, um, I was just telling Megan, I, I have a, an email that I send out weekly usually that just full of the ideas I've done on my site. So if you're not on my email list, you should join. But today when I sent it out, it was just chock full of just tons of ideas. <laughs> like here's a whole list of holiday math things you can do. Here's a whole list of holiday science and, and so on. Um, <laughs> cause yeah. I have just a ton of holiday themed activities on my site. So I'm not going to go through all of them because that's not fun yeah. to just describe. It's more fun to go and look at the pictures and explore them a little on my website, but I'll, pick out a few favorites and share from the different categories yeah. for you guys today. Um, 
as I was looking through them, it was fun because some of them, have, it's been years since I've done them and I kind of forget about them. And so it's fun to kind of pull them back up and refresh my mm -hmm. memory and think, oh, I should try this one again with my younger kids. Now. Yeah. Um, and one thing that I loved doing was our ginger, ginger, <laughs> ginger, gingerbread, <laughs> gingerbread house geometry. So we made little gingerbread houses just with graham crackers, a simple okay. one. And then as we built it, we measured the pieces <laughs> and okay, what's the area and what's the, you know, the, the well, so you could do angles. Too. Yeah, we did. We did angles on it and it was just super fun and simple, but, um, you're making a gingerbread house. So it's a lot of fun, but you're adding just a math spin into it. So I always try to think of ways of like, you know, what are some things we're already doing and how can I make this activity educational in some way? Mm -hmm. And, and so that's how I, I pulled that one up and, and we had a lot of fun with it. That's really fun. We just read Circumference. Oh, yeah. And Angle Land, something of Angle Land. And so that could be a really fun book yeah. to read along with that. Yeah, that's a great idea. Um, I have a whole bunch of fun science ones on there that I've, yeah, I I've say loved love doing. Science I ones. love doing science, you guys. I have so much fun with it. But just a fun one that is different that I actually have not seen elsewhere. But I discovered that, um, do you know that cabbage juice experiment where you like make the cabbage water and it's a pH indicator? And then you oh can goodness. test the pH of different substances. You've never done it. No. Okay, so I've done that, and that's kind of a classic experiment. But a poinsettia leaves do the same thing. Oh. And so if you take your poinsettia leaves and boil them and make poinsettia water, uh -huh. which sounds so weird, but it makes a pH indicator, and you can test substances to see if they're an acid or a base. Interesting. And Aren't they really a poisonous cool. plant? They, so they're only poisonous if you eat mass quantities, kind of like apple seeds, where if you eat like a truckload. Oh, okay. Um, you so don't quit want, eating. <laughs> you don't want little kids eating them necessarily, but it's not like... If I'm, okay, if I'm I always wondered correctly. why they're always in houses. I'm like, yeah, they're, they're not. not these super dangerous. They're not that bad. I don't. Okay, worry. that's super fun. So, what do you do with the water? Like, how so do you, test you so you test like we made little strips. Um, they're like indicator strips, uh -huh. like out of a coffee filter. Oh, okay. Or you can do it with paper towels if you don't have coffee filters, and you dip them in that poinsettia water and then let it dry. Mm -hmm. And then once it's dry, you choose your stuff. Like lemon juice is very acidic. So right. if you dip it in lemon juice, it's going to change. I think the acidic ones are like the reds and the oranges. And then the base. The so base it makes are, like the pH, too? Yeah, yeah. Does it really? Yeah. Now I've got to yeah, try it. Yeah, super this. cool. So that's a really fun one. And we loved doing that. It's been a couple of years since I did that one. But I was like, oh, yeah, I have a point at it right now. I could do this again. And it's, it's so fun. So what other things have you done besides lemon? Um, let me just think really quick, like baking soda, milk, vinegar, um, vinegar is a good one. You can I actually cleaning made chemicals. Um, I made my kids drink like lemon juice and vinegar to tell me that the base. Oh, you did? Oh, <laughs> not yeah. like the cleaning stuff. <laughs> of course. But no. like the things that you won't kill you. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I, since That's I love how science. we do science at the Thomas house. <laughs> since I love science, I'm going to share one more science yes, that I love. Do. And this is one of my all-time favorites. So we made um, gingerbread houses out of paper bags. Okay. So like color them, decorate them. And then I turned them into light-up villages with paper circuits. Oh, my goodness. So you know like the copper tape? Yeah. You can, and then like a little coin cell battery mm -hmm. and little LED lights. Like you can do that on a card or whatever else. I have a lot of paper circuits on my yeah. side. Yeah. But we did it with a gingerbread house made from a paper bag. And I have this little village, and it is so cute. And I loved it so much. That was one of, like, my all-time favorite Christmas projects that I've done. Yeah. So check that one out. Tons of fun. That is so fun. Um, if you're still looking for some kind of countdown, it's kind of late in the December now by the time you're listening to this. Yeah. So maybe not. But I have a really cute little Advent puzzle cube that I made. It's so fun. Maybe the little boxes, and then you can fill them with candies. Oh, okay. So fun. Um, oh, I love... <laughs> this is very silly, I think, but I think it's so fun. Yeah. So I, we made this magnet game with, you know, those magnet wands? Mm -hmm. and And you use bells, just like Christmas bells, like gold. And we did... We have a pack that's gold and red and green of the little jingle bells. Mm -hmm. And then you get wands, and you have to collect the bells of one color so like each person's assigned a color and you use the magnet wand to yeah. pick up the bells and you, if you get your color you can collect them but if you get the wrong color you have to put them all back 
So oh, you have to fun. be like the first one to get all of the bells of your color. Yeah. It's so fun. And it's like any kid, any age can play it. Yes. And it's like one of those like silly, fun family games that you can just play in a minute and have so much fun with. So that's, that's an awesome. awesome one. And you can talk about magnets and the science behind magnets. Yeah, you make and everything process. a science Make lesson. it educational and yeah. science, right? Love it so much. Do you have any ones for writing? I do. I, I don't have that written here, but I have these cute little Christmas tree spelling word ones mm -hmm. where it's like shaped like a tree and you spell the word like one letter at a time. Mm. So like if you're spelling the word tree, for instance, and you'd start at the top and you write T and then the next line has two boxes and it's T-R oh, and okay. T-R-E and go all the way down. So, and then I have different heights of lengths for different lengths of words. So we wrote it's letters to Santa today, but oh, not fun. the way you're thinking. Because we don't do Santa. We, <laughs> we don't either. We do um, trip. So we wrote letters, but I go, but the sky's the limit, friends. Write whatever you want. And so my one kid wrote, like, I don't, I think it's inappropriate that you're watching children and checking on them twice. <laughs> like, <laughs> I really think you should stop. Okay, here's and, the funny thing. Our family, we don't do Santa either. Yeah. We've never done Santa. And my youngest has decided that there is a Santa and there That's is funny. a tooth fairy and there is like, she has decided this and all of us are like, but there's not, and we don't do it. And she's like, there is, it's real. So she's decided. And so she wrote a letter to Santa this year and I'm just laughing as she's like writing this letter to Santa and I'm helping her write. And, and the tooth fairy now comes to her. Like we've never done the tooth fairy for yeah, any, any of our kids. So suddenly for this one, this year we're doing the tooth fairy. And I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> because she decided, it's real, it's real. <laughs> and it cracks me up. That's anyway, funny. Yes, so we wrote to Santa that we were concerned about his health, <laughs> that we're giving him a present this year. He's a little overweight this Yes, year. like here are some hilarious. walking shoes and a green smoothie. <laughs> like, <laughs> please skip the cookies. <laughs> How funny. All right, I'm going to tell you one more last little fun thing. And this, I have some Christmas sweater coloring pages. So if you like to, we, our family likes Christmas sweaters. Okay. We're just silly like that. Yeah. And we all get a new Christmas sweater every year and we take like funny ones? pictures. Yeah. Oh, like okay. the ugly Christmas sweaters with like bells on them. And that are fantastic. You do a Christmas sweater party for oh, the Oh, I kids. do. My and husband's is, looks like, like, you know, the swimsuits or the sweaters where it looks like it's your skin. Oh yeah. And his is a giant hairy man yeah. with tattoos. That's and, awesome piercings <laughs> and so these aren't that ugly but there are some just fun silly little christmas sweater coloring pages that my kids love and then um i want to show you guys i think I, I told you about it already but if this was our giveaway last time and it's a steam kids christmas book yes and you can get this on amazon right um it's no. on amazon yeah but okay. you can also go to steamkids.com or steam kids books i can't remember which it is but if you search steamkids.com i'm pretty sure that's it um, anyway, yeah, so this book is so fun, and this was, it was a collaborative project, but we had so much fun, and if you just want, like, a ton of really cool ideas, and this one has, like, little steam cards and building things and just fun stuff, and then they also have a coloring book for Christmas oh, as well on the website that you can get, and they're so fun, and I'll share links to that also in the show notes, and yeah, so there's some fun and some simple ways, if you want, like, a hundred more stuff on my website <laughs> and just search Christmas. Teach Beside Me. Yeah, teachbesideme.com and search for Christmas and you'll just have a plethora of really fun ideas that you can yes. do with your family. So after she's told you all these amazing ideas, remember to enter the giveaway because you can win $50 towards her site. Yep. And you do Come. not want to miss that. Nice. So anyways, thanks for tuning in today and have a wonderful holiday. See you guys. Bye.